Okay. Hi, how y'all was? This is Gator of Show Creek Brewery. Today I'm going to show you how to bottle beer. This is my uh, Hefeweizen Once in a Blue Moon that I made a couple, couple weeks ago, no, about a month ago. I've already racked it into my uh, bottling bucket. I added uh, some five ounces of corn sugar to a pint of water for my, for, for my priming sugar so it'll carbonate. Uh, this is called a modeling wand. It's got a spring load on the end of it. It's already ready to it's not leaking or dripping. Uh, you stick this in your bottle and press down on that spring tip and it'll fill your bottle. And it disperses enough beer that you can get all the way to the top and pull it out. That'll give you the right amount of headspace for your brew. Uh, um, you can't hardly see these brown bottles. I stick it in, I push it down, and let it rip. Uh, this is all part of my uh, Sunday, Show Creek Sunday chat, uh, where I'm going to talk about equipment that I use. Of course, I got this is your permit bucket. It's got a spigot on it where you can fill bottles with your spigot or grab you a snatch of glass, you know. Of course, done. Uh, and of course, I got this auto siphon and the tubing that goes with it. And of course, this this modeling wand. Dude, you better watch what you're doing, Gator. <laughs> yeah. All my bottles have been washed and sanitized. That's what. That's one thing you got to make sure of. Everything you do, every time. Once, once your boil is done and you add yeast, from there on out, everything has to be sanitized. Can't stress that enough. And all my bottle caps have been sanitized. We're going to do a few of these. I mean, there ain't nothing to do with this. Just put your priming sugar in there, stir it, but don't oxygenate. Just stir it up to get your uh, priming sugar uh, mixed through. You know, some people use uh, common tablets, put in their bottles. That, that's fine, I guess. Uh, some people just use a teaspoon per, per bottle. That, I don't recommend doing that because you get inconsistencies. You don't get the same measurement for each bottle, and you likely have bottle bulk. You know, they're going to sit there and carbonate a little bit too much and blow up. You don't want that. That makes for a bad beer day. Hmm. That's one less bottle you get a drink, right? Yeah. Right now we're gonna go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I cap, I cap these. Well, this, uh, cap a couple of them. Get a few of these out of my way. Where are you at? Oh, that one's doing. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna suck this right here for the minute of time. And while he's while he's doing that, I was just going to show you his uh, his beer bottle holder. You can see it holds uh, sixty or sixty five bottles. That that was a birthday present for him from his brother. Um, it's pretty appropriate for his videos. Um, now I am going to continue recording, but I may have to help him a little bit with the with the capping. Okay, he's he's giving me the nose. Sometimes I have to help him because. Sometimes his hands don't want to work right, but he's he gave me the no. So I'll turn you back over to Gator right now. Okay, and here is a beer capper. I just got it. You know, you just put your cap in there like that. It's got a magnet. Put your cap in there. Set it over your bottle. And like so. And just clamp down on it and you have a bottle of beer. Give you another one here. Yeah, my caps is all being sent sitting in sanitizer and uh, you might see that red cap in that thing. It just that that doesn't matter on the color of the caps, it just depends on what color you want to use. Um, some people do different colors like if he was doing um if he was doing a couple of different batches, um, like if he had that one and if he had a different, like his grapefruit beer, he would do the black for this one and then use the red one for his grapefruit beer just so he would know the difference of 
which beer is which. And you can okay. see, go, uh, go ahead. I'm going to finish bottling these and we'll be right back to you with this uh, Soul Creek Sunday chat. We'll be right back. Alright, we got that little tour now. We'll come up with what? 42, 42, 43 bottles. I lost a gal at Summer's place. I usually get 48 bottles out of that. Anyway, it's all good. I'm going to let them set another week. Grab one and uh, put it in the refrigerator. Or Pop it up and see if it's done a carbon date. And if not, I'll let it go a few more days or another week. It just depends on how long it takes for it to carbonate. I have 43, get 43 bottles of beer. Now, this is my Sunday, uh, Show Creek Sunday chat. Today, I'd like to talk about some of the equipment that I use. Uh, this right here <laughs> is my five gallon uh, brew kettle. Uh, I usually run about two and a half, three gallons of water when I do my extract brewing or a small batch, you know, or a, a small uh, grain meal five gallon batch. This big boy right here, I want you to get a good look at this. This is eight gallons, but it's got three eighths inch balls. This of a guy can stand up to any kind of tornado or hurricane or tsunami or a volcano or, or Gator's <laughs> Brewing even. You know, he'll stand up to Gator's Brewing, I guarantee you. <laughs> so I'll get that out of the way. Uh, yeah. that, and that sucker's heavy too. Yeah. Let me tell you what, that sucker is heavy. As you can see, it, it just, I ain't got a lot of room to put my grain bag down there, I guarantee you. I got to <laughs> set it on the floor. <laughs> and uh, this little fella here, this is, uh, this is my... My that's a strainer. that's a tea strainer. That ain't no little thing. <laughs> this is my strainer of gigantic proportions. I use it, you know, for, for this big boy to, you know, to forge my grain with. And, you know, and then when I dump it into my ferment bucket, uh, I use it to strain all the hops and all the nasties out of it. Get them out of the way. We already talked about my ferment but but then I got three of these. Uh, two to hold product and, and one empty one to so I can, you know, rack. And that way it kinda of like a juggling, you know. I've always got one empty. <laughs> you know, I'll I'll rack into a empty one. And I always got an i always got an empty, it always rotates. And this for like my meads. There's a little one gallon but one gallon jar. But you really can't make a, a full gallon because you know you gotta have a little bit of head space. You know, I always fill it up right about here to the one gallon mark. But it, where it says one gallon that's that way it gives me a little bit of head space. And this little filler here, I got three of these. I just emptied that with lemonade. I got all these. Well, I got the bottle of all these that come with three lemonade. <laughs> it sure did. Uh, yeah, I still got some left in this one. And this one right here is for the little lady, you know, the pink lemonade. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, all, 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 all my equipment I got, I got it in my... Amazon store. I'll have the links below in the description. I sure will. Tell you what. Uh, and, and if you like what you see, hit the like button. And go down here in the corner over here, a little red box that says subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that little bell thingy bobber down there too. That'll get you notified when I do more videos, which should be pretty frequent. I'm still a little bit behind. And it takes for some reason, it takes a while for my, my videos to upload to YouTube. Anywhere from 24 to 36 hours, I don't know why, but that could be a gator thing, I don't know. Uh, uh, until next until next time, uh, we'll catch y'all later. This is Show Creek Brewery, signing out. Bye, y'all.